OP43 is endoscopic ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration in patients with pancreatic masses. The study to assess its efficacy and complications. Presented by Nilesh Fernandipulli uh, and uh, Tushara Mathai. Good afternoon, everybody. I would like to thank uh, SLMA for giving me the opportunity to talk about some of the work which we've been doing on endoscopic ultrasound over the last few uh, years because endoscopic ultrasound is somewhat new to Sri Lanka. Um, so, tissue diagnosis of pancreatic uh, masses is uh, of uh, what uh, masses which are found radiologically is sometimes uh, inconclusive, uh, it's sometimes difficult, and even radiolo radiological diagnosis is sometimes inconclusive. And uh, when sometimes when the pancreatic malignancies uh, are suspected on, on CT, you need a tissue diagnosis to go ahead with uh, further treatment like chemotherapy. And uh, due to the pancreatic, uh, the location of the pancreas, as you can see in that picture, the yellow area is the pancreas. Uh, it's sometimes difficult to access the pancreas, the traditional methods like the percutaneous access, because there are substructures above and below it. So endoscopic ultrasound is one of the preferred methods and sometimes the only method available to, to acquire tissue um, from a pancreas. Uh, this is a study, one of the first studies done in Sri Lanka of, uh, of, of uh, FNA of pancreas. Uh, we had 58 patients who were radiological diagnosed with pancreatic masses. Um, all were performed by a single endoscopist. Uh, the time duration was about two years from 2018 to 2020. Uh, a linear echoendoscope with a 22 gauge FA needle was used to acquire tissue and the tissue samples were sent in formal saline and alcohol. The picture that I've shown in the left right bottom, or sorry, right bottom, bottom is the uh, black line is the endoscope and you can see the pancreas at the bottom. So. Uh, unlike any other method, you can actually go right next to the pancreas, very close to the pancreas and just um, go across the stomach wall and get tissue from the pancreas. So this is quite a, a preferred method to, uh, to, to, uh, to uh, get tissue from the pancreas. Uh, 26, so we had 26 females and 32 males. Uh, age was, due, uh, the range was about 17 to 80. Uh, location of tumor is given there. Head was the most seen masses of 54%. Uh, body was 28, tail 8% and unsinate process, there were 10 lesions. Um, out of the lesions, 20 were, third, 20 were solid, 32 were cystic. And of the solid lesions, uh, we were able to get tissue of 75%, positive diagnosis of 75% of the patients. And uh, out of them, 9 were adenocarcinomas, 3 were neuroendocrine tumors, 1 was a plasmacytoma and 2 were uh, thought to be inflammatory lesions. Out of cystic lesions, uh, almost all of them were acellular. That's because they are cystic and most of the time you don't get any cells. Uh, they are actually, the biochemistry is more important. So we did the CEA, amylase and cytology, which gives us actually the diagnosis. And overall success of cystic lesions were about 90, uh, sorry, of the total, total uh, uh, cohort was about 90% to acquire lesions of this method. And the complications, one patient had acute pancreatitis which was managed conservatively, and one patient had in, or two patients had infections, but nobody had significant bleeding, needing blood transfusions. So in conclusion, US guided tissue acquisition is a useful and effective method to acquire tissue from pancreatic masses when indicated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Open for discussion. Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. You go through the stomach wall. Yes. Are there complications that arise from yeah. puncture? Yeah. We close it up on its own or it close it by itself. So these are twenty-two gauge needles, so it's quite small. Even we have we can go up to nineteen gauge. Twenty two gauge. Yeah. Nineteen we can go up to nineteen gauge. It doesn't cause any problems. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Are those patients that were excluded because of any contraindications? Are there contraindications to the procedure? Uh, so if the patients want on traditional con uh, containing would be like antiplatelets and antithrombotics. So if those patients obviously will stop those if it's possible. But otherwise uh, uh, so this is done under deep sedation and sometimes minimal. So you might have given it up to fall, maybe some midocellam. So if the patient was not fit for sedation, that might be, but not in this study, but that would be a contraindication to do the FNA. But generally, uh, most people, yeah, Perfect. we have no problem. This usually takes about 15, 20 minutes and it's a short duration of sedation, which is required. So generally, no, no contraindications as such. So what is the objective of this study? So these actually, the endoscopic ultrasound is something new to Sri Lanka and uh, this technique is also new to Sri Lanka. So this is actually one way to introduce this method to Sri Lanka and the objective of this study is to show that this method is uh, efficacious because uh, this is something which in Sri Lanka 
people are not very aware of so we traditionally they used to take radiological imaging and go by that for uh, management so this method actually can be used to uh, it's a successful and quite efficacious method to uh, to acquire tissue from the pancreas to arrive at your conclusion have you compared with another method so there is not no method to compare with because so other method would be percutaneous method so percutaneous method cannot be accessed like i told you so pancreas cannot be accessed percutaneously and it's a la- large mass which is like bulging into the abdominal wall so these are usually 2 cm maybe 5 cm lesions which you can't access percutaneously so traditionally these were these were diagnosed radiologically uh, so ct mri and patient went for treatment following that still if the patient is inoperable uh, sorry operable you go with uh, go with radiological diagnosis but if it's inoperable and patient needs chemotherapy radiotherapy then the oncologist would require would require tissue diagnosis then then endoscopy ultrasound is actually very useful